Changing minds one thought at a time Greetings, greetings, greetings everyone and welcome to the Motivate Social Podcast where we are bringing you people who are changing the world via social media. But before we get started today, I am, of course, Dr. Akima Pence, and I have my lovely, lovely co-host with me, Vanessa Candleberry. How are you doing today? I am doing great. How are you doing? I am fabulous. And you know, today is just me and you today, so we're just getting ready to drop some knowledge on the people. Tell us about what we're talking about today, Vanessa. Life. Life life like what's going on with our life right now sometimes people feel like their life has been flipped upside down with this pandemic Mm -hmm. majority of us it was totally unexpected some of us some very few was somewhat prepared for it it depends on what area you are in your life but majority our life felt like it was flipped upside down Now, why do you ask me, um, why would I say that our life will flip upside down? Because sometimes we get into this habit of getting into the routine, of going to work, of taking care of our family, you know, doing what we normally do. That's our typical routine, and then we can be able to take off on the weekends to be able to relax. Mm -hmm. Well, now, majority, we relaxing so much at home that... We don't even know what day it is anymore. The time is so flipped upside down. We're getting our nights and days mixed up. Um, A lot of people, um, relationships have been tested. I read something about um, physical abuse is at an all-time high now uh, because couples are quarantined in the same household together. Um, Very few relationships have been mended because now they get to see uh, what what the reality of the situation was instead of them running away. They can't run away from it now. So they have no other choice but to really make a choice of fixing, fixing this relationship um, finding out what's the problem so we can be able to find a solution or some mom were just saying, you know what? Um, yeah, this, this right here is not it because it's, it's no, it's not, it, we, we still remain unevenly yoked, you know, also, um, more people are starting their businesses now because now they are at home, they are more creative, um, they started to see that, wait a minute, I really was not prepared and I need to be prepared. So while I'm at home, let me do something. So life is really testing us right now. But my question is, what you're going to do during the test? Mm, That's a good question. That's a real good question. You know, I want to piggyback off of some of the things you said as well, what we're talking about, what we're going to do. So, you know, uh, in many of the urban areas, it was a problem with children getting enough food uh, at school. You know, they were getting their meals at school. So now that there's no school, where are they getting their meals from? You know? And uh, with you know, you were speaking about domestic violence and things like that, or uh, things that have been going on that you've been trying to sweep up under the rug, but you can't sweep anymore. You know, some people are finding that their brooms are a little too short now, now that they're uh, in this pandemic. And, you know, what can you do about that? What can you do to, uh, you know, move the needle, as they say? You know, I noticed that, you know, and you were talking about relaxing too. You know, I've noticed that some people have actually started doing more walking and things now because, uh, as I was told, someone said that if they sat in the house any longer, they'd be unrecognizable by the time this pandemic came about. And so a lot of people are actually getting healthier or actually moving because they're realizing that being uh, 
stationary like this is not a good look for their uh for their body or their health so what can we do that's a good question first off we can start thinking about getting to know who we are as an individual a lot of people are somebody's husband somebody's wife somebody's mama somebody's daddy somebody's employee but they don't know who they are if you ask them the question oh i'm da da da's mama or i'm da da da's daddy you know or i'm da da da's wife or you know i work at i am a this or i'm a that but they never can say who they are and this is a good time for you to uh commune with your feelings and your emotions and find out what you like and what you don't like you know this is a good time to catch up on that journaling that you've been wanting to do catch up on those different activities you could do from the house that you've been thinking about or basically have a to-do list you know think about things that you had never thought about doing before because why you're sitting there at home you know um getting to know your other family members there's people that are out the house before the sun rises and down uh come back in after the sun sets and they don't ever have any time to spend with their family and their friends and so this is a good time for the all to start communing having those zoom meetings having those uh you know different networking situations why because the networking shouldn't stop the communication shouldn't stop just because we have a pandemic in fact it probably should be more because you have so much stuff to do uh i mean well time to spend now don't get me wrong there are some people that uh were already set up for such a time as this they were doing their virtual thing already nothing has changed for them everything has been pop 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 and then there's some people that because of what their business was now these people have all this time now they're busy prime example my mother is a seamstress so what happened people need masks she started making masks she's making money like crazy she's getting orders every single day so sometimes like uh vanessa said you're gonna start businesses and so what are you doing with the time now truth truth be completely told there like i said there's some people that leave before the sun rises and gets in before the sun sets some of y'all needed some rest some of y'all needed some rest Y'all body's probably wondering what's really going on. Uh, I'm used to being on a plane, a train or an automobile at this point. And I haven't been in the air or traveling in a very long time. And my body was like, what's really going on? You know, you realize that you get stuck in that routine and you don't know what to do. So this is a time to shake it up. So Vanessa, you were asking, what are some of the things you can do? I said, shake it up. Take this opportunity to not be woe is me, but here we go. It's all it's getting ready to be the elevation of me. Do you understand the difference? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are going around crying, oh, what am I gonna do? Whatever this and that, or oh, I'm stuck in the house about these kids, other thought and they But you know what? This is a time for you to reach your next level of greatness in whatever that is yeah you may not be able to do it at your work if you are fully you know on ground but if you're online start working toward uh, showing yourself approved start being on all the meetings start doing the things you want to do if you have a business start pushing it out there start letting the people know what you are about and what you're doing you know get a social media presence get a social media following start doing the zooms spreading spreading the love spreading the wealth you know uh start doing interviews to let people know about great people that you've known about that you've been wanting to interview and they got nothing but time right now get them on your calendar don't stop just because the pandemic has stopped you from uh traveling there's so much stuff you can do so many people that you can reach out to right now so many connections that you can make because they got extra time now take this to your advantage your calendar should not be empty 
take advantage of your stimulus check and do something with it. Uh oh, come through. All right, come on. Let me hear. No, you on. Get, when you turn around and you have noticed how much money you are saving now, mm. now that you are not working outside the household, you know you know going to lunch every day um have your social events on the weekend all of this other stuff that wasn't making you any money or any growth or anything now you have time to sit back and look at your accounts and say dang wait a minute i really was spending a whole lot of money right so now that you received your stimulus check why are you not investing in something that could be able to make you money why are you not taking the time out to do some research google was free your, your time is something that you cannot get back. So you have to put in perspective that you no longer allow yourself to be able to waste any more time. So this is the time to be able to do it. This is the time for you to start that business. This is the time for you to be able to, um, you know, take care of things around the house that you've been procrastinating on taking care of. I'm a believer that when you can remove clutter, you could start thinking more clearer. So if you have clutter around you that you, you know, there was no spring cleaning because spring, spring cleaning was really interrupted. But this is the time to spring clean every area of your house to remove all the clutter. So you can be able to be in a position um, in a, creating a room, a space in the house that you could be able to start allowing your creative juices to flow. So what are you doing? Why are you continue to waste time? Why are you continue to have excusitis? This is not the time to be able to sit in your self-pity. So use your stimulus check as an investment opportunity or something that you know that you said, I wanna do this, I dreamed of doing this. Okay, now it's time to stop talking and start to make action. Because at the end of the day, the world would not be the same. Have you noticed that more companies that did not have any type of online presence, they filed for bankruptcy? Online, we spend so much time online with just interacting with other people about stuff. But why are you not interacting with people about business? We got to be able to shift up some things. The way we used to do things we no longer could do. Make sure that you are prepared so when it's time for the world to open back up, which again would not be the same, at least you were very productive in your time of quarantine. That's my thoughts. I have noticed that I have been more creative. I noticed that more people are taking it serious of the things they've been holding off and now they're starting to do those things. Um, I noticed that um, my schedule has been way busy than anything, busy in a good way because some people are busy doing nothing and some people are being productive and doing nothing. No, I'm over here doing things. Dr. Finch is over there doing things because we have an online presence. And so now people are home and now they're reaching out to those people who have that online presence that could be able to assist them in their elevation process. So don't be that person who wastes their stimulus check to get a new TV when you already have a TV. Matter of fact, you watch too much TV. You could be able to do something else with that. What do you think about that, Dr. Finch? My goodness. You know, I've noticed that TV is now busy noise in the background to keep me stimulated. <laughs> you know, because at first, you know, I had a TV schedule. I knew exactly where it was supposed to go, da, 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 da. But now in this pandemic, I don't really need, really seem to need TV as much because, you know, I'm always on a screen. Uh, so I've noticed that, that that's really changed. And a lot of the things we used to value 
you know, um, has changed as well. I agree. I am definitely more creative. My sleep patterns are all over the place uh, because of, you know, I don't really go anywhere. So, you know, I can still be doing my things at two in the morning. I can be doing it six at night. So, and I've also noticed that, um, and, and maybe this is something for you too. I, I tend to dream more, you know, I tend to think outside the box more. Um, things are not as, I don't put limits on things like I used to because all the limits that we used to have have been shut down with this pandemic. You know, oh, we can't do that uh, virtually, uh, but now we're doing it virtually. You know, oh, you can't do this uh, with, uh, you know, uh, from home, but we're doing it from home. You know, all these different uh, limits we put on ourselves, um, they're being smashed. So when we do go back to being able to go out into the world again, it's definitely going to be different because more opportunities are going to be opening. You know, you could think about those people that have bars and uh, have bars in their restaurant. You know, uh, here we can, um, some restaurants can open to have capacity if they don't have a bar in it. You know, the money that they were making at that time, you know, now, they're back down, they're maybe down to nothing because, you know, just off of one little piece. So how would they tweak that now once they get back? You know, my business doesn't have an online presence. So I went, I filed bankruptcy, but when I come back, you know, I'm gonna make sure I have a business with, uh, with an online presence so that I can come back stronger. Uh, that's an example that is not mine, <laughs> my actual state of mind. <laughs> Let's be clear. But, you know, at the end of the day, we should see this as an opportunity to stop taking, to take down these walls we put around ourselves, to take down these barriers we put around ourselves and open our minds to different opportunities, stretch ourselves to the fullness that we could truly reach because we're seeing the world breaking barriers right now why can't we break some barriers too what do you think on that Vanessa well let's talk about the breaking barriers come on let's talk about <laughs> breaking barriers is really uh, taking people out of their comfort zone Breaking barriers is open people's eyes to see things in a different light. Breaking barriers is putting things in your face. Breaking barriers is giving you a wake-up call. Now, what you do with it is all up to you. How, how, how serious are you willing to break those barriers? How? You know, people want to say, oh, that's not possible for me. Who said that? And better yet, why are you believing that? At some point, you're going to have to stop um, speaking with other people who don't get it. Your inner circle should be your power circle. If your inner circle is not powerful to be able to say, look, I need you to do this in a better way. I'm, I'm holding you accountable to reach your goal. Better yet, you, you are minimizing yourself. If your inner circle is not giving you anything to take, help you, to secure you, to push you, to pray for you in the next level that you're saying that you're willing to go and they are making moves to do it themselves, then your inner circle needs to be adjusted. Be okay with making the necessary adjustments to those things that's holding you back. Break that barrier. Because usually the first ones to hold you back is family and friends. <laughs> if, you, if you go on a job, your job limits you 
to do the things that you always say that you wanted to do. You wanted to be able to get promoted. You wanted to be able to see yourself um, at a high and paying position because you have done the work. No, they evaluated you for an entire 12 months to be able to minimize your worth when it's time for you to give you a review. Don't allow your inner circle to be like that. How is your inner circle? Ask yourself, how, how's my inner circle? What value can they provide? Better yet, what value can I provide? And then be okay with understanding what you need that's willing to provide it. Yes. You know, that, that's a good point, Vanessa. You know, I think that we have to, I love your statement about the power circle. A lot of people are not using their inner circle to the best of their ability. They're not, you know, they're trying to silo themselves and not, you know, come together. Now, before the pandemic, everybody came together and did all these things, and now uh, everybody's siloing out. But as long as you have Zoom, as long as you have StreamYard, as long as you have, you know, all these other devices, you can still make the stuff happen. You know, you could still put together a conference. I've seen so many teleconferences, uh, Zoom conferences, all these other conferences happening because, you know, they have time on their hands and they think they're going to have the best audience. And, you know, some people are looking for that enrichment. Some people are still investing. You know, a lot of people, oh, you know, they're not caring and this and that. No, people do still care. They still care. And they're still investing. And they're still trying to go to their next level. If you, if you have to offer it, then they will consume it. You know, once you put it out there, of course. But, because they can't buy what they don't know. But once they know about it and you are putting it out into the atmosphere and you're letting them know the value of it, there will be an audience for it, whether we're in a pandemic or not. A good product is a good product. An investor, a person that invested before is going to invest still. So what's your uh, thoughts on that, Vanessa? I totally agree. But see, we got to first be willing to be open to knowing what is an investment versus an as, um, being an asset. So many people don't know the difference. If somebody is bringing less than, taking away, that's, that's a um, liability. Do you want to continue having people that's a, that's a liability in what you're planning on doing? Access is something that you want to be able to have ownership of. You don't want to have anybody that's going to be questionable on your journey. Sometimes you have to be okay with going on a journey alone, which yes, can be scary. Yes, can be frustrating because you will want to go on a journey with those people, but they're not ready yet because they have the um, liability factor floating around that's visible that you have made up your mind to choose to not ignore anymore. I just hope that makes sense. Well, it does. It definitely does. And you know, we're getting ready to do, well, you're getting ready to do some uh, things virtually. You know, you're taking advantage of this good old pandemic time over there uh, with the Breaking Barriers Unapologetically Conference. And, you know, yeah. tell us a little bit about that as we close out. Breaking Barriers Unapologetically is going virtual. 
Um, of course, with the pandemic, we had to, you know, make some adjustments, but that's again, the, the, the blessing of online, right? And so Breaking Barriers is going to be the second annual conference where we are breaking barriers in life and in business, one household at a time. We're talking about various things that we're struggling with in our life that we no longer could be able to sit on it. We have to face those things. We're going to talk about those things. Um, things such as trauma, things such as um, self-worth, self-discipline, um, relationships, um, the power of yourself, of just saying yes to you. We're going to talk about those things. We're also going to be talking about business and uh, the, the benefits of business and how you could be able to uh, continue to grow your business, start your business. Um, it's so many things because we as individuals, we good for running away from those things. And breaking barriers is bringing those things straight home raw and in your face we're not going to skip over the things that you're struggling with in your life and take you straight over to business mm -hmm. no because it's going to show up eventually in your business because you have refused to address them in your life so breaking barriers we're going to bring it together is a unity factor that is absolutely needed you can't do one without the other but the most amazing thing that I'm super duper excited about, we have some men, men who are going to be on the men's panel that are going to talk about some real stuff that we need to sit back and take notes because we as women need our men. And when we have men that's ready to speak up, ladies, we need to listen. Because so many of us are raising sing uh, our children as single parents. We need to take notes. Some of us are so strong-headed where we feel that we can raise our boys to be men. Yes, take notes. This is going to be some information that is long overdue because there's rarely any conference for men. But, but when men wanna show up and be in the presence of women, to be able to share deep, raw conversations with us, I wanna have a front row seat. So we could be able to learn the meeting, the, the men who are, um, as I call it, the meeting of the masses. Because few speak up, let's go ahead and listen. And so we're going to have them on a men panel, and I'm super duper excited about that. And so that's going to take place um, July 24th to 25th. It's going to be a Friday and a Saturday, the original date. Um, and so the information is going to be on bbuconference.com. Um, all the update information we're switching over right now. So stay tuned to make sure that you get your ticket. Um, but you do not want to miss this at all, at all. If you heard anything about the first annual conference, which was mind blowing, you definitely don't want to miss this one. You definitely don't want to miss it. So BBU conference.com is where you can find all the information to get your tickets and make sure that you secure your seats so you can be front row seat to get this information on how you two can be able to break those barriers in your life and or in your business because too many people keep saying oh i don't think i need to break any barriers oh yeah breaking barriers open up a whole lot of eyes at the first annual conference you'll hear the testimonies so i'm, I'm excited i'm super duper excited Dr. Finch was at the um, first annual conference as one of the speakers as well. And you just open up your eyes to be able to learn so much about self. That was a beautiful thing. And I am excited to just to be able to hear your own testimony. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I assume you mean right now. Okay. So, um, Well, first off, 
uh, I took my mother with me. And the love that was shown upon her was amazing. And she actually left with feedback, which was incredibly out of character for her. Uh, because usually when she comes to my stuff, it's kind of like, or something that I'm involved in, it's kind of like, okay, woo-woo. But she was actually involved. She actually participated. She actually uh, had a little tip and actually gave a little testimonial. And anybody that um, takes care of, of my mom like that, you know, that that wins hands down for me. And as far as I was concerned, um, being able to speak to the people and then being able to watch them get their breakthroughs and talk about how uh, they can use the stuff that they were learning uh that was very impressive to me because you know a lot of times you get uh dump 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 and you're so overwhelmed that you just go home and do nothing but i have been following a lot of the people that was at the conference and i've been seeing them make amazing strides so i love the fact that i was a part of the first one to see breakthroughs and to see uh people connecting with themselves uh i had a little testimonial at the end of the conference and since the conference um i did my first anthology um then uh also made had a record-breaking year in my business my business grew three times the size of the year before. And so, and it's only growing more. The pandemic put a little wrench in it, but it's still growing. Um, you know, everybody has their plans, but the point of having a plan is that it's flexible to meet the needs of the time. And uh, before the conference, I think I would have been like, okay, you know, um, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, pursue this, that other thing, but now, uh, some of the things that I had going on because of some of the things I learned at the conference, I realized that people are waiting on your gifting. You know, uh, people are needing the things that need to be said. So, um, I was getting ready to completely not do my event at one point and now I'm going to go ahead and do it virtual because I know that people need that. Uh, I'm still putting out for the second anthology because some people still have stories to share whether it's a pandemic or not. So there's no need to stop the flow that you had to give other people a platform just because of the pandemic. Uh, you need to still keep pushing and give them the opportunity to decide if they want the platform or not, and versus taking it away from them without even uh, giving them the chance to say, I want it. So that's some of the things that I learned from the conference. You know, be there, stand there in your truth for your audience, show up for the ones who show up for you, whether they, uh, you know, other people show up or not, you come in and you do your thing in excellence for the people that are there and that believe in you and that need that material uh, in the way that you and only you can deliver it. So that's what I learned from the conference. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, whew, that conference was so powerful. It, it was like scary but I'm glad that I was obedient in doing it anyway and that you were there along the journey. Um, the dynamic duel was in the house. 
So that was amazing. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So you guys, um, just stay tuned. It's, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be powerful yet again on July 24th and 25th um, virtually. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited too. But, you know, we're going to be bringing on a lot of the speakers for the event onto the podcast in the next couple of shows. So you definitely want to tune in to Motivate Social Podcast. Uh, of course, on Blog Talk Radio, you can also find us on iHeart, Stitcher, Tuned In. You know, we are on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, I mean, Instagram. We are everywhere. If you want to catch a episode, you can always go to our main hub, which is Change Your Minds Online. Uh, come and see what Vanessa and I have been cooking up for you. Uh, we don't bring you the uh, the usual. We bring you authentic, real, and raw. And I think that you would truly enjoy the stories that we have coming forward for you. Agreed. Awesome. Awesome. You have some closing words for us today? Just make sure that you always check on real life that's in your life so you can make the necessary adjustments and not continue to hold on um, to old stuff that no longer belongs in your life. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, Thank you so much, everybody, for listening today. We appreciate you greatly, as always. Definitely, definitely uh, check out our social media and our uh, airing pages and let us know what you thought about this show or any other, because what we do, we do for you. So until next time. Good night. Good night.